Hi everyone, it's Sari Ari. I'm here to give Earth Signs their weekly energy report. Yes, we're gonna do this for the entire week because I am going on a much needed vacation. <laughs> All right, so I am using two card decks. I'm using the Fairy Tarot and of course the uh, Energy Oracle cards, okay? So we're gonna begin, like always, with Taurus. All right, let's see what we have for you this week, Taurus. Hey, Taurus. So today and tomorrow you have the two of winter. All right. And this is about making choices. This is about just making a choice. <laughs> so there's something going on within you that is afraid, afraid to change things. Okay. It feels like there is... Um, there's a choice you have to make when it comes to emotional stuff, okay? So there is, it feels like there's an energy around you. It feels like it's a partner, okay? So there are potential partners coming in if you're single. And now you just gotta make a choice on who it is that you really truly want to date, okay? Uh, if you're not single, if you are taken, there is a choice regarding how to express yourself emotionally, okay? Whether or not you should say what you need to say to your partner or whether or not you should hold it in because you might feel like it's not a big deal but it truly is for you. If you don't express yourself, if you don't say what you feel, um, and this could be related to how your partner takes it as well. So it feels like you're not expressing your emotions thoroughly with your partner because you don't wanna start a fight. You think it's gonna start a fight. But if you express it in a manner that is not, um, I guess you could say aggressive or not, not sounding like like you're blaming them, then then you'll be fine. You won't start a fight. What you need to express is you need to say how you feel. Like you need to be like, I feel this. You don't say, I think you're doing this. No, you say it like, I feel this is what's happening and express it in that manner because when you start blaming or you start pointing fingers, that's when your partner then shuts down or they become uh, defensive, okay? So it feels like if you are together with somebody that you need to express your feelings and how you feel, if it's something that you don't like about what's going on with your partnership or if you are in a brand new um not brand new relationship, but you're starting to date somebody, you need to express yourself, okay? You need to express how you feel about this person because if he, this person doesn't have a clue, all right? <laughs> all right, so the next one is the Eight of Summer, and this is for the midweek. And this one is all about, again, it's connected to the relationships with, the, with people, okay? Especially romantic ones. You're desiring a more like meaningful connection with somebody. You're desiring and realizing that you don't have, well, in your mind, you don't have enough time <laughs> to, to like, I guess you could say waste. <laughs> but come on, let's be honest, Taurus. <laughs> you have enough time. But in your mind, you don't. Things have to be in a certain, you know, a certain time frame where things are expressed or things are happening, right? But this is a major life choice for you because, well, at least it feels like that because you're finally being your true self. You're finally uh, able to tap into those emotions that you have been suppressing for a very long time. And um, it feels very uncomfortable uh, understanding who you really are as an emotional person, okay? So this doesn't mean it's a negative emotion. It means like it's a heartfelt, centered emotion, okay? It's all about the heart in this energy for this week, not just about the mind, not just about logic. It's all about your heart as well. It's not about suppressing. It's not about dictating. It's not about just, you know, lying to yourself again. You know, it's just, you got to express yourself. You got to express how you feel in a rational, in a, in a, not a rational, but in a more compassionate way. So this is all about that. 
you need to realize that you need to move forward or grow from with your relationships instead of away from them if they're healthy of course but if they're not then it's time for you to move on okay but you have to realize that that it's kind of like you got to see it for what it is okay so next one is you got the healer of the ages and this energy is all about self-healing so this being coming in is kind of like the christed one um they have it has the same energy or he has the same he she has the same energy i would say because it's not just a masculine energy it's of both combined to balance um to balance yourself okay so this is how we do it when you need help expressing yourself when you can't really or you kind of have uh suppressed a lot of things within you you need to heal that okay because that is how you're you gather the courage or you muster the courage to be your genuine self so this weekend i would recommend to just Take some time for yourself and actually think about things and actually express them in your emotions, okay? It doesn't mean you have to do it right away in front of people. It's just like, just be in solitude and, and just feel things, okay? Think about your past, you know, um, feel things. Don't brood, don't brood, because I keep hearing he, they like to brood. Don't brood over that stuff. Just let them go. Feel it and let it go and say you've released that from your path. You release that from your heart. You release that from your, you know, from your energy. Because when you keep energy in, when you keep brooding over the past, things will then vibrate in that way and you will be bringing that stuff back into you, okay? So that's important to do. It's important to do healing work. It's important to just be by yourself and release things, okay, Taurus? So that's all I have for you. So next we have is Virgo. All right, Virgo. For the beginning of the week, you have the Nine of Autumn. And this is about rewarding yourself, taking care of you, okay? Uh, for all that hard work that you have been doing for the past uh, few months. And of course, um, just enjoying your success, okay? Being happy for what you have. Uh, kind of being in the state of uh, gratefulness, okay? When we become uh, grateful or we get into that state of gratefulness, the universe then responds in, in so many ways with giving us more of what we are grateful for, okay? Or even extra stuff, <laughs> all right? So extra rewards. So cherish this time. Cherish this time with your family, with your friends, your loved ones be grateful for them in your life you know when we do that then in so many ways our energy shifts to to a more prosperous more abundant more loving energy okay for the beginning of the week you got the ace of spring and this one is all about taking action about being fearless and, and pursuing what it is that you really desire to pursue. Uh, so whatever ideas you've had in the back of your mind for a very long time, it's time for you to implement them. Uh, don't be afraid of what people think, okay? This is a big thing, they're, like that's what they're saying. Don't care what others think, just do it, okay? If it feels like there's something that's similar to somebody else's idea, it's not, you know, maybe, maybe the universe wants both of you guys to have a similar idea that's why you're tapping into that okay that's why you're getting this idea so go ahead and do it doesn't matter who it is go ahead and do it the universe is abundant with all of these ideas everyone has the same uh connection so everybody could tap into certain things it just it's just a matter of um implementing them okay so go ahead and take action on this opportunity and don't don't be don't be fearful of what other people think okay all right so for the end of the week you have financial constraints okay this is like the five of pentacles um in the tarot this is about making sure that you have your finances in a good place okay or it might seem like you are are being restricted financially at this time 
But in truth and reality, we are the only ones that get in our way when it comes to our flow of abundance and prosperity. So I suggest that you heal that about yourself. I suggest that you uh, start to rewire your subconscious into uh, feelings of prosperity, abundance. Go and, you know, get like a mantra that you tell yourself in the in the mirror or even feel it like with visualization. When you say, I am abundant, you visualize all of the things that, that you feel is abundance, okay? Like, is it money? Is it love? Is it is it a new car? Is it a new home? You know, things like that. Visualize it when you say that word, I am abundant or I am prosperous, okay? And you will start shifting your subconscious do this for a few days like I would recommend doing this for a whole month in order for your subconscious to be reprogrammed completely and so you won't be so worried about any type of financial you know constraints or restrictions that you think you have look again you're the only one that can get yourself out of it okay so do that visualization do those those daily affirmation things and you will see how different you perceive money as well as how you perceive your situation at the end okay all right so that's all i have for you virgo so next is capricorn okay capricorn so for the beginning of the week you have eight of autumn all right and this is about making sure you have all of the details before proceeding to something new, okay? It feels like it's a career path um, change. Maybe it's something that you've been wanting to uh, take on for a while, but you haven't gotten there yet because you still don't have, you know, all the puzzles to the pieces that will help you feel like this is going to be a successful move all right so do more research uh educate yourself on what it is that you're trying to do as well as get like um people who are the experts at this okay so it's like you have like it feels like you're going to get trained uh you're going to seminars you're going and seeing somebody speak about this idea and and then it's just like it feels like it's entrepreneurship okay it feels like you're gonna someone is gonna take you under your uh, under their wing and teach you some things about that and teach you how to create your own business or or make it more successful okay it feels like that's something that is coming in for you uh, Capricorn uh, so it's definitely making sure you have enough information to be successful in whatever it is that you want to do all right all right for the middle of the week you got the three of spring and this one is all about planning ahead. Uh, and you do this excellently, of course, but making sure you plan for the long term, okay? Again, it has to do with this business idea that you have. It has to do with this career change that you have, okay? And making sure you be, have patience is not gonna just be at the snap of your finger, you're a millionaire, okay? It, you know, that will be great if everybody could just snap their finger and all of a sudden they're millionaires. but you have to take your time. You have to make sure that you have everything um, set in stone. Kind of like, it feels like there's legal things that you need to make sure that you're taking care of, okay? Um, getting all of the legal documentation for this, making sure you're signing contracts, but you're reading the fine print, uh, and then all this other stuff. Because when you get everything set in stone then that's when things are gonna definitely start to bloom or start to move forward for you okay capricorn the final one you got is the healer of ages and again this is all about healing things and for this one for you capricorn it feels like this is about heart-centered stuff okay it feels like there is healing to do with that with relationships with other people um I heard the word betrayal, okay? You have to heal that, okay? It feels like you've been holding on to uh, that aspect of you that feels betrayed. Maybe somebody wronged you in the past. It, it feels like there is a partnership or a partner that wronged you in the past, and therefore you can't trust a lot of people, okay? So 
in order for you to be successful in life, especially when it comes to career or partnerships or relationships with other people that you, you need and they need you, you have to have trust, okay? So it's important to heal those aspects of you that can't trust people, that can't trust people to do things without you monitoring them, uh, that can't you can't trust people to, to do things or on their own, you know, things like that. You have to heal that. You have to heal... Um, what it is you have to heal what's going on within you okay so definitely take that time this weekend to do that all right all right so that's all i have for you guys today uh thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your week Bye bye